Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide, GMAT Review 2015 edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The math problem that you will find is in this in, in this edition, 2015 editions. The math problem that are appearing in this in this edition actually happen to be the exact same math problem as the ones that appeared in the 13th edition of GMAT. We have already solved every single math problem from this book here, 13th edition. I'm not going to redo them. I'm going to simply tell you where to find a solution to a given problem. Let's begin, shall we? We'll begin with page number 179. On watch page 179, you will see problem number 189, 190, 191, and 192. Solutions to those four problems were presented on day number 351. On the same page, page 179, you will find the solutions to page solutions to problem number 193, 194, and 195 on day number 353. On the next page, page number 180, you will find the solutions to page one, problem number 196 and 197 on day number 355. Again, on the same page, problem number 197 was done again. Problem number problem number 197 was repeated. 198 and 199. Those three problems were solved on day number 357. And finally, problem number 200, 201, and 202 on page 180. You will find the solutions to those three problems on day number 359. As you can see, solutions to all the problem solving questions are presented on the odd numbers. If you wish to watch the solutions to any of the data sufficiency questions, you will find the solutions to all the data sufficiency questions beginning with day number 252, all the way up to 375 for GMAT 2015 official guide. Bye now.